Hey, hey, what is up YouTube? Andrew Rooney here. I'm a full-time drummer and drum teacher here in Auckland, New Zealand. Today, we've got a PayPal pick from Mark Crimmins. I'm gonna read out his message here. Hey, Andrew, I have donated via PayPal for a request. Firstly, I have to tell you that I'm not a drummer. Hell, I'm not even a musician, but I'm 67 and have been listening to music for a long time. My request is for my second favorite band of all time, Black Sabbath being number one. All right, man but they seem to be taken care of. Uh, hell yes, a lot of support for Black Sabbath out there. This band is Hawkwind, one of the first proponents of space rock. And the track is Brainstorm of Doremi Fasolatido. I said, hold on. I said, hold up, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, bro. Am I gonna keep that in? That's what she said. That's the question. Do re mi fa sol la tiro. From 1972, since I'm not a musician, I can't tell you if the drummer Simon King is any good. Although he was described by Sounds Magazine in 1985 as the definitive rock drummer. Why I'm requesting this just to give you further grounding in the music of the era. I was the guy who got the ball rolling on Edgar Winter's Frankenstein again, thanks to Suzanne, good old Suzanne Lash. Also, you should know that the bassist is Lemmy, pre-motorhead. And then in a strange twist of events, he switched his pick. Hey Andrew, I was reflecting on my request and it dawned on me that it was over 11 minutes, which might be a bit too long for some of your viewers. That's what she said. If not too late, the following track off the same album is highly representative of their work and will save you four minutes. That's what she said. And he's given me the link. That's what she said. It is Lord of Light by Hawkwind. Without further ado, let's check it out. <laughs> Sounds a lot like Aussie. Hold on, I need a little bit more info here. Hawkwind, 1972. This sounds very Black Sabbath e ish esque to me. Digging it so far. It's interesting stuff. vocal effects to Sabbath. Like, I don't, I don't want to, sounds like I'm bad mouthing Hawkwind and taking away from them as their own band. I, I'm, I'm only comparing it to what I've heard previously. Ne ne need to stop comparing and start listening with a fresh set of ears to a new group. <laughs>
Guys, again, original video link in the description of the video. So please do check it out without me stopping it and talking during the video. A little bit of a time capsule here. The recording style and the recording sound, it's that wall of sound. It sounds like a band in a room all playing together, which is probably what's going on. You know, I don't know, multi-tracking. When did multi-tracking and recording and stages all sort of start? I'm not sure. Maybe the 80s, late 70s. And we've got this like distortion and we've got this noise floor. And it's really cool. It really adds to the vibe. It really puts you into 1972. So I really, really appreciate that. It's quite obviously a repetitive, um, not in a bad way, persistent sort of groove. I mean, high energy, hard to keep the energy up. What is a song? Almost seven minutes. Really hard to keep the energy up in a song like this. And I'm assuming this would have been just an absolute banger live. <laughs> Thank you so much for the contribution to the channel and alerting me to this new group. So I had actually never heard of this group before. Now, I'm assuming you want some drum feedback on the song. I'm not going to lie, very repetitive groove. I mean, try playing eighth notes on the bass drum like that for seven minutes. And it kind of was literally eighth notes on the bass drum for seven minutes. Dum, 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 bum, bum, bum. That is a right foot workout. In fact, you know, this is a good example. Putting on my drum teacher hat for a second. I always get people asking students, um, how do I increase my bass drum speed and my technique? And how do I get better on my, on my pedals? Playing stuff like this, 
this is such a good workout. I mean, there's songs like My Hero. Different songs are really good for testing different bass drum techniques. Uh, Walk This Way, Aerosmith is a good one. Boom, ba boom, boom. That little micro shift that you got to make on the pedal for that to dum dum to get it sounding right in the track. Great one. This is just a great one for consistent eighth notes. Heel up and just pounding out strong, even eighth notes. You don't want to be getting that first one loud, second one soft. It's got to be really even. So really cool. And I noticed that the fill did it and did it and did it and did it around the toms. And that was kind of more or less the same each time as well. And I'm sure this is not by accident, right? They're creating a certain momentum within the song and they're just creating this between the rhythm section, this machine, this nonstop, uh, you called it space rock. I guess you could sort of think of it like a ship just floating along and it's just this consistent stream of wall of sound. And it had that kind of feel to it actually. But anyway, a new band, original video link in the description. Please do go along and check out the original song if you enjoyed it and uh, show them some love. All right, I'm going to have to run. Mark Crimmins, thank you so much for the pick and the support again. It's just always great to get hip to a new group, a new drummer, Simon King. And it's a drummer I had never heard of. And as you said, in Sounds Magazine, 1985, described as the definitive rock drummer. So I need to check out more of them. I get the feeling this would be a live band. I feel like they're really going to shine live. That's my prediction anyway. So I look forward to hopefully really soon checking them out live. Guys, please do be sure to subscribe, hit that like button and leave a comment with what you thought of this video and what I should check out in the future. Until next time, take care. Ciao.